Hello and welcome to the channel. I'll make a very short video about how to generate uh, the carrier for, um, for my transmitter. It's based on a block called uh, DDS, Digital Direct Synthesizer, which is very very simple. Uh, I'll put a link in the, in the description uh, with a very good video which can explain how it works. Um, made by uh, Hackaday, probably a much better video than mine. But uh, it's a, it's a quite a simple block. It's based on a, on an accumulator, which is an accumulator is just an adder which keeps adding, adding, and then it wraps around. And uh, the output of that adder, which is the phase accumulator, it's uh, going into a lookup table which uh, has defined a, a sinus uh, waveform. Now it, it, it actually has a, a quarter of a waveform because you can um, take advantage of symmetry. But I'm not going to into many details. Uh, they are very good. Um, uh, there is very good mat material uh, online. I'll put a link uh, from uh, analog uh, devices with, where they kind of explain how it works. But without going in detail, I'm going to show you the in um, a bare minimum design in uh, in Vivado in uh, Xilinx tools uh, and a short um, simulation. And I'll explain a few parameters the best as I can. So I'm generating a 25 megahertz signal that that was the goal of the of the design and um, let me know in the comments if you want more or this is way enough I don't know. Okay let's go for it. Okay 100 miles per hour presentation what is here. This is a block diagram of the bare minimum to generate a signal. Uh, this block is not actually part of the generation. I'm just uh, multiplying the incoming clock, which is 100 megahertz, uh, to generate a fast clock, which is a 360 megahertz, which goes in the DDS compiler. This block, again, it's not very complicated. It's just adding an offset to the signal. The samples here, they are um, Stein samples, so they're positive and negative and I'm adding here an offset to make this signal to be just positive samples for the output DAC. So that is an output DAC. Right, so the most important one is this, right, is the DDS compiler. This is what is generating the, the waveform. So I'm going to double click to show you a, a bit of customization. Uh, I'm going to skip many parameters which I think they're not that relevant. So the, the, this UI, in this GUI, we need to tell the incoming clock frequency because based on this, is going the, the tools are going to calculate some parameters. So 360 megahertz, that's my clock generated using the PLL that I mentioned before. Now, uh, what is um, important here is, uh, you see this, the signal, the output form is two complement, which means that there are signed numbers, right? They're positive samples and negative samples. Now, the width of the, I choose the parameter in such a way that I'm getting um, 8-bit samples. Why 8-bit? Because my DAC is 8-bit. So why why uh, generating more bits than we need? Now, output frequency. This is where I'm choosing what I want as output. I want 25 megahertz. That's that's my requirement. Now, this is a summary um, and uh, the precision that I can choose, uh, 0.1 megahertz. It's actually better than that. And uh, this is showing me what actually is going to generate is going to generate 24.9999993 so fairly close to what i want right okay now that's pretty much in a nutshell uh if you want more details let me know in the comments on uh, how to put together this uh, block diagram okay so you see here there is a this is where we release the reset and then there is a portion here which things are a bit unstable. So this is the time for the PLL to lock. And how do you know? I have a lock signal which shows when the PLL is stable and everything. So everything which is interesting should be from here onwards. So I'm just going to... So you can see this is the 100 megahertz clock. And this is what comes out of that uh, clock uh, PLL, which is the 360 clock. And now you should see here, you see the sample. So this is what comes, what goes to the DAC. Let me zoom more, right? So you see there are numbers, right? So for every clock, for every fast clock, which is this, 
you get a number. Now I'm going to make them put a rabbit here to see them as uh, as what as unsign, right? So they're positive numbers, as you can see, right? Number, number, number. Now I'm going to ask to see this as an analog. Now let me show you before we do that. You see here on the before the before I'm adding that. 127 you see they are negative numbers and then they are positive again and they are negative exactly how the, the sinus waveform look like so i'll show you here if i express this as analog you see a nice waveform 25 megahertz waveform and i'm going to zoom out a little bit and one more right so this is what we generated from dvs this is what comes out of the dvs right and the same thing what actually goes after we add the DC offset, I'll make this analog. And it should be the same thing. So a nice waveform. So this is how this is how we generated 25 megahertz out of DDS using the DDS block. Right? As you can see, it's quite quite uh, nicely defined and uh, looks good, I would say. Okay, so this goes to my res resistor ladder back and is generating a 25 meg signal, right? So we made an oscillator, a sinusoidal oscillator, which is just numerical and is generating a very, very precise frequency. Okay, I'll just stop the simulation here. <laughs> 